Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting video. Today we are going to look at one of the main competitors to Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro and that is HitFilm. HitFilm is a fairly new player in the market and it aims to be an all-in-one solution that combines video editing, visual effects compositing and audio processing capabilities in a single software package. It has been getting quite a bit of attention from the indie filmmaking community and just a little while ago version 4 has been released. I figured I'd show you what you can actually do with HitFilm 4 Pro and talk a little bit about what I do and don't like about it. Why are you still looking at me? Let's go look at HitFilm. The fundamental premise behind HitFilm is that you can complete your entire post-production workflow, including editing, 3D and visual effects, without ever really having to leave the program. You start out by defining a new project and setting up things like resolution, frame rate and color spaces and then move on to the editing module. In the editing module, you import all of the footage for your project. This includes videos, images, audio files and even animated 3D models. You then pick, chop and choose from the visual elements you brought in to edit together your overall project. Once you are happy with your edit, you can convert any single clip on your timeline into what HitFilm calls a composite shot. Once you go into a composite shot, you are taken into the composition module where you can add visual effects to the clip. In this module, you can then layer multiple visual tracks on top of each other, like you can do in After Effects and composite them together into a single shot. For this, you can create shapes, masks, use adjustment layers and choose from an array of over 200 effects to apply to your clips to build the effect that you are after. Once you are happy with your visual effects, you can return to the editing module and get working on your audio. You can add new video and audio tracks in your editing module and drag and drop music and sound effects into the project and place them where you want them. You can then adjust and keyframe the volume to match them up or apply a number of audio effects to spice up your final audio mix. Once you're happy with your sound, you move on to the export module. In the export module, you can choose from a number of different output formats and you can even upload your video directly to a connected YouTube channel. You can configure the output settings like frame rate and compression and once you're happy, you can export your final project either directly to YouTube or into a file to be uploaded to Vimeo, Facebook or to keep your grandma happy. So it's like merging Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro and Audition into one. Well, HitFilm certainly seems to be going in that direction, but it still has a pretty long way to go. Now, that is not to say that HitFilm does not come with some pretty impressive features already. HitFilm 4 Pro, as opposed to After Effects, supports importing and using animated 3D models natively. It comes with some advanced 3D features such as normal and bump map support, as well as real-time shadows and ambient occlusion. Native 3D model support means you can easily integrate 3D elements into your shot without the need for any third-party plugins like Element 3D. HitFilm 4 Pro contains over 200 inbuilt visual effects that you can apply to your layers, including some pretty cool ones like lens flares, heat distortion and particle effects for fire, snow and other fancy stuff. The software comes bundled together with some really great tools as well, first and foremost one of my personal favorites, Mocha. Mocha is an amazing planar tracker that you can use to track, remove or replace objects in your shot or add new 2D or 3D elements into your scene. Now the version of Mocha that is included with HitFilm comes with a subset of features available in the full version. However, it does include the core tracking and rotoscoping capabilities as well as the camera solver module which unfortunately was taken out of the version that chips with After Effects. HitFilm 4 Pro also comes with the 3D objects module from Boris FX which allows you to create, customize and animate 3D titles and layers. The plugin offers some cool features like deforming and shattering your 3D titles and you can use it to create some fancy intros for your latest YouTube gaming channel for example. Finally, as a heavy user of Premiere Pro and After Effects, probably my favorite inclusion in HitFilm 4 Pro is Ignite. 
Ignite is a plugins pack compatible with many nonlinear editors such as, well, Premiere Pro and After Effects for one, but also Sony Vegas, Final Cut, Motion and many others and it makes almost 150 of HitFilm's core effects available within your favorite editing or visual effects software. HitFilm 4 Pro looks quite impressive on paper and I've spent a substantial amount of time with the tool to get a good feeling for what it is actually capable of and I feel like I've given it a fair spin. Now let's talk about what I actually do and don't like about this software. I really love the concept of having an all-in-one solution where I don't have to hop between different software tools and get all sorts of third-party plugins just to get my film projects across the line. HitFilm's approach to having your entire post-production workflow in one software package is definitely my preferred way to go. However, at this point I would be losing a substantial amount of features that are available to me by performing my editing, 3D and visual effects compositing, as well as audio processing work within dedicated software tools. One of the biggest obstacles though to me personally just loving HitFilm 4 Pro is that the editing and compositing modules and their basic operations feel rather sluggish and unresponsive. Compare the speed of me scrubbing through some basic 1080p footage within HitFilm with scrubbing through the same footage in Premiere Pro for example. I wonder whether Adobe just has the better caching algorithms, but dragging clips around, cutting and general editing in HitFilm 4 Pro just feels a little bit like walking through jelly. To be fair though, if you are just starting out and don't come from a strong Premiere Pro or After Effects background, you may not even notice this very much, so this is something I would highly recommend you go and try out for yourself. Having native 3D support in HitFilm 4 Pro is a huge win. Don't get me wrong, I love the Element 3D plugin from Video Copilot, but it has always bugged me that After Effects does not support 3D file formats natively. Well, HitFilm 4 Pro does, and it makes working with 3D models in your film projects a whole lot easier. All you need to do is import your OBJ, 3DS or LWO files and then drag them into your composite shot. Bam! Done! Now I do have to admit that I found the camera controls within HitFilm 4 Pro rather fiddly and not very user friendly. You end up having to select and drag around buttons on the outside of the preview window and to me that personally felt a little bit unintuitive and clunky. Also with the native 3D support itself I have noticed that about 50% of the models I try to import into HitFilm 4 Pro do end up looking rather weird. And it's not just that HitFilm sometimes doesn't seem to pick up the textures correctly, even though the material path is pointed at the correct file. Some models seem to have half their faces inverted or missing and I'm not sure what I need to do to get these issues resolved. The import module just feels a little buggy when working with certain 3D models. For comparison, here's the exact same Viper model imported into the Element 3D plugin within After Effects, without a single complaint or visual glitch. One of the limitations of HitFilm 4 Pro though that really rubs me the wrong way is that the software does not allow you to combine multiple clips on your timeline into a single composite shot. This means you are not able to apply the same effect, for example color grading, to multiple clips at once. You end up having to create presets and copy and pasting those presets onto each clip in your editor timeline that you want to apply the effect to, if you are working with a big project that can be rather tedious and time consuming. In terms of audio capabilities, HitFilm 4 Pro does fall a little bit short in my opinion. For one, the set of audio effects is fairly limited, but my biggest gripe is that you can't actually apply these audio effects to an audio track or even lower the volume for an entire audio track. You can only make adjustments on a clip by clip basis and given that you can't combine multiple clips into a single composite shot to group them together, you again have to process each audio clip on your editor timeline individually which can be a bit of a headache. On the other hand, I think HitFilm 4 Pro has a great lively and supportive community growing around it that will definitely appeal to first time filmmakers. All of the latest tutorials and training materials are also well integrated directly within the software and as you start HitFilm 4 Pro, you are presented with tons of useful material that show you how to get started creating your own film projects and adding some cool visual effects. The bundled software packages like Mocha HitFilm and the Ignite plugins pack are absolutely awesome. I'm a big fan of Mocha and really happy to see that they included the camera solver module in this particular version as it's much better than the inbuilt 3D tracker that you have to rely on in After Effects. I have nothing but good things to say about the Ignite plugins pack, 
it works out of the box. You get almost 150 effects to use in whatever editing or visual effects software you are using. And for me that is Premiere Pro and After Effects. The Boris FX 3D Objects plugin is a nice addition, but it can't hold the water to what you can do in, for example, Element 3D. But hey, I'm curious to see where FX Home will take HitFilm with the next release. So what's my final verdict? Will I be switching from After Effects Premiere Pro and Audition to HitFilm 4 Pro? Probably not, at least not yet. HitFilm 4 Pro has a lot of potential and it's definitely going in the right direction but it still has quite a long way to go to become a truly appealing alternative to my current toolset. If you are a newcomer to the exciting world of filmmaking, however, you will likely find HitFilm much easier to learn. After all, it's just one tool instead of a whole handful. The simpler interface controls, as well as the integrated community with tons of tutorials, definitely make the software a lot more accessible than anything within the Adobe suite. Now to be fair, HitFilm is actually only a couple of years old, it was first released in 2012. On the other hand, Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro have been around since the early 90s and are in their 15 somethings release now. So holding them up side by side is a little bit like having your parents battle your little brother. HitFilm is coming into a market where there are some really strong players already, but I think given enough time to grow up and mature, it can become a truly appealing all-in-one solution for filmmakers. HitFilm 4 Pro costs $349, it is available for both Mac and Windows, and of course there's a free trial available that I highly recommend you go and check out. If you want to get your hands on some great filmmaking software and you don't actually want to spend a cent, you can also download HitFilm 3 Express, which is a fully functioning and absolutely free version of HitFilm that you can use for your own film projects. As always, I will put all of the links down in the description of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this review and as always, if you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, favorite it and share it with the world. And if you do want to see more cool filmmaking and visual effects tutorials and maybe some more software reviews, don't forget to go to youtube.com slash surface studio and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I will see you later.